Before we get started, I would like to say that this is not an official multiplayer tutorial. Don't contact the multiplayer staff if you can't get this tutorial to work for you because they will not help you with it. They actually don't recommend the bucket at all right now, so there's absolutely nothing they'll do for you. Any damage done to your server will be your problem, so you better make sure you back up your server before trying this. This is a video made for noobs by a noob. Thanks again for watching, and I hope this helps some of you. Alright, hey everybody, this is RTSSH21 here with a tutorial for the multiplayer um, servers. So what had happened is I had basically signed up for a multiplayer server, and um, after the full release came out, I had to go to vanilla, which I really don't like. Um, the problem was they didn't have a recommended bucket because it was new, right? So now I have to try putting the bucket on via FTP, which is something new for me, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, luckily enough on this forum, two people, uh, Coco and Zelif, decided to actually answer my question when I posted on the community forums. And uh, I'm just going to go with what they said. So let's see where this takes us. Since this isn't recommended and it's somewhat buggy, you really should back up your server first, so this is how you back up your, your server. When you're under the server tab, click Live Control and there will be an option to back up your world. That's what you want to click. So now I have a backup just in case something goes wrong, and usually for me things do go wrong. Alright, so one of the first things you're supposed to do is get this jar file from bucket.org. Um, they gave me a link to it, so I'll put the link down in my description as well for you. Make sure when you grab this file, um, you right click the little um, snapshot whatever area there, and then um, click save as, and then name it minecraft underscore server dot jar. I'm just going to put my server file on my desktop here so I can just find it easy. Next on the list of to-do is to stop your server. That should be fairly easy enough if I can remember how to do that exactly. There we go. Um, nice, easy to see, obnoxious little stop button there. Alright, click that. Now what we want to do is we want to create a new bucket profile. And it isn't supposed to matter as much which bucket you decide to choose as long as it's one of the buckets. Um, I'm just going to go with this uh, um, one with the four numbers there, and um, I'm just going to try that because that's the latest one that's out, like for the 1.8 sort of thing. So I'm just going to mess that one up. We can also name our profile, so I guess I'll name it uh, um, Bucket Bob or some dumb crap like that. That ought to work. So click create and let's upload via FTP now. So when you get the whole FTP stuff onto your actual computer, um, what it's going to come up is this uh, FileZilla thing. So double click that um, and then what you want to do is you want to drag the server or like the minecraft underscore server dot jar file into the um, little bottom queue area there. Um, the very bottom square. Then click server and either connect or reconnect depending on whether or not you've connected your FTPs yet. Um, I already have so all I have to do is click reconnect and it'll automatically go to my current server. Now you right click the item that you're trying to upload that's in the bottom square there and click process queue. Um, lately the servers have been giving this uh, um, server responded with invalid key, so it's going to take a little bit for me to try and get this uploaded. It's actually going to fail a few times here, um, but eventually it'll just work. Um, so I'll get back to you guys when it pops up the thing that it's working. Alright, I'm back and uh, now it's working. It brought up this one thing here saying, you know, do I want to replace the file or whatever, or overwrite I guess it's called. Uh, do overwrite it because you want this file instead of your old crappy vanilla or old bucket file that ain't working sort of thing. So as you can see with the little green bar there, it's just uh, it's just slowly uploading there. So there doesn't appear to be a save option here, so I'm just going to go back to the uh, Clan Forge area there where I moderate my um, server and uh, just save using that. So to save, you just go into your uh, server tab again. Once you're in your clan forge, you hit uh, Live Control, and then it'll bring you to the area where it says, you know, World Options and Console and stuff. You want to click Console, 
and then in your uh, input you want to put save hyphen all and then click send. Then it'll save your uh, entire map and whatever files you just uploaded. Then let's go back into server there and uh, click the restart button. Restarting and done. It says it should be a few seconds before it'll actually work. So let's just wait a little moment and I'll be right back with you guys. And so I'm, I'm just going to uh, quickly um, turn myself into an operator so I can fix that because now that I'm on a bucket I don't care for being in that mode anymore. I actually want to not be in creative mode. <laughs> Once again, thanks for watching, and uh, have yourselves a great day or night or whatever it is over there. Well, alrighty, so it looks like it's done. I hope. Ah. <laughs> uh... I don't know if I should click save or I don't know how to save actually <laughs> now that I just realized okay save and restart your world oh crap uh <laughs> I know what I'm doing no I don't oh wait I gotta save that whatever that is. I don't know what my password is now. Okay, whatever that does. Live control. Console. I'm just going to try a few things here. Save world. Unknown Furbies. Okay, let's try help. Maybe it'll tell me. Why did it make so make it so weird? Okay. Save all. Send. Forcing save, save complete. Cool. Um.